These are actually the Mackie MR624s. I apologize for lying on the title, but I want people to see this because I don't think anyone takes Mackie seriously enough. Everyone knows the name Mackie. You think about you know, sort of underbuilt speakers at concerts and things, and and they've, they're they trying to change. And they one of the things they change is they don't say Mackie on anything anymore, like at all. We have a little running man, which is a logo, which is trademarked. Which is a little Running Man logo, and it's like, okay, like here, they sent me their big knob, which is not currently being used to uh, preamp or DAC or anything of these right now because this thing needs a book. But if you look at it, if you look anywhere on it, and I mean anywhere on it, it doesn't say the word Mackie. It doesn't. It says the big knob, and it has has a dancing guy, and that's it. So they are trying. Their PR guy is trying real hard to rebrand the brand. So I renamed this video the LSR 306s because essentially, if I had to break it down for people, and I had to many times because people on my Telegram or on my Discord are like, we see those Mackies in your desk. They're on your desk for like seven reviews. Tell me about them. What are they like? Should I get them? And the best thing I could tell them, the easiest thing I could tell them is, you know the LSR 305s that everyone loves? Well, imagine them a little bit bigger, a little bit more of that magic. I'm not joking. I wouldn't have lied in the title of this video. I mean, after the first day, I'm probably going to switch it to actually say Mackie MR624 so people find it. But you have to look at these and know that I'm serious, super serious. So they sent me the big knob here, which, again, just going to use that for now. There's a subwoofer down there, which is not hooked up, and that's important for you to note because there might be some low end in this video through the camera that you're going to be like, well, is the subwoofer? No, it's not. The subwoofer will get its own review. This will get its own review. And when I review this, these will be in it because they're definitely staying here. They offered me the 8-inch version, and I denied that. I don't, I don't have the head or the space for the 8s. They could have also got the 5-inch version, which is a little more, you know, grounded in the people and I'm just like eh, how much is the, is the six inch version because I got another price two hundred dollars each so that's four hundred a pair that's a good nice happy spot because if we're considering those as the benchmark then the slightly bigger I, I hesitate to say better but slightly bigger and, and better and badder should be around there so, self-powered monitors, in case you don't know where we are, these are the Mackie MR624, self-powered monitors. Oh, by the way, it is like 8.45 in the morning. Zeus is up way too early. And he can't play music very loudly. And that's the thing. That is the one thing that I... That I have to have the thing pop up and, and be... I have to have the thing. If you don't have the thing, then Zeus doesn't make a video. But here's the thing. Of course, it went to dead silence. There. Do you hear quiet? These monitors are bright now, right? You hear it. it's quiet. And you can play any speaker quiet. You can play any speaker quiet. But these speakers, if I had to pick their party piece that makes them different and better than all the other speakers I've tested, is that this 10, 10 per 10, nothing? It sounds as good as it does loud, and that's very rare for Zeos. Zeos likes his shit loud. But when that's why they're on the desk still. Because when I can't loud, and I want to enjoy music that isn't head on headphones, usually you, you can't. It's just like you keep turning it up. It's like, oh wait, I want it to be, I want to hear the bass. I want to hear the... And these speakers sound amazing. Let's get to another track. Alice in Chains can't go wrong. Right there, where I could whisper and you still hear me. And Alice in Chains is just full. There was one pair of speakers at an audio show once, one pair. 
I forget, they're probably like $80,000 now, and these crazy wooden stands are probably like $80,000. And they were little tiny speakers, but the, the thing that, that made me remember them out of the hundreds of speakers I saw at Can Jam, not Can Jam, you don't see speakers at Can Jam, but at New York Audio Show and then at Rock Mountain Audio Fest, those speakers, and I see them, were playing at a whisper, and I could hear everything. And that is like, that doesn't happen. There's no, how do the physics work to make that be a thing? And whatever was there is now here with, with like, it doesn't sound like I'm lowering it and everything is sort of like falling apart. It's just you lower it and you can keep going lower. How do I still like detect low end with this sort of volume? I mean, I could probably play this in the background of this video the entire time and not have it pulled on copyright ground. Shit. Okay, let's get to the actual crux of the review. These are better LSR 305s. They're, they're just, I mean, those are great, but I think these are A, prettier. I'm sorry, baby, all right? Please, please just don't kill me in the night. I think they're prettier. People might have issues with the, the LED is not centered, but you know what? F them. That's, I like a little bit of asymmetry. Think about the Millennium Falcon. They drive it from the far right? I don't know. It's only got a Running Man logo. There's no grills. Everything is very high. Come on, we're ruining your, your perfect placement now. Oh, she's heavy. I'll tell you that much, she's heavy. Giant circular waveguide. Looks like a cyclops. I like it. Poly thing with a reverse cap. Green LED. Let me just, can I, can I just, can I just, I mean, I like the white LED on you, but I actually did cover them with a red filter at some point because it was just white. And the green works. And they're pretty deep, actually. I can get you the dimensions, or you'll find the dimensions if you're gonna, if you're serial, if you're super serial about buying these. I'll shut it off and unplug it so we can look. Big flared port. Like I said, heavy. We've got TRS quarter inch. We've got XLR in, which is what I'm using because I'm using the Go Rack, which is probably no longer available. And if you use it with the big knob, they point out you're probably going to be using it with the quarter inch. So you get some quarter inch to quarter inch wires for the big knob. It also has RCA, so it has the trifecta. You don't have to use adapters in the TRS. You could just use this. These are all wired together. You can't put multiple sources in. That bad. Bad news bears. Um, here's a power plug. Here's a power switch, which I think pretty much... Hello, Chewbacca. You've come for a review. It's been a while. I can't say while anymore without doing the family guy. The power switch in the back is fine. This back plate does get warm. That was one of the things the LSR 305, that's why they're up 24 hours a day, seven days a week as my Ventrilo monitors. Because they did vocal reproduction amazingly. And when you turn them on, nothing gets warm. So these will get warm. So I do recommend shutting them off at night. For that purpose, and these on my review desk, I have the kilowatt edge, which the edge means that there's a plug in the wall and here's a screen and a button on top that controls its power. It's also telling me that these use 24 watts a pair. And I could just go, and then it'll fade slowly out to the night. And then I hit it again and it's... Oh. It also has, and I haven't, uh, that's a completely separate review coming for this, but it has an infrared, it has a infrared, yeah, that'll just detect if you're sitting in front of them. And then turn that switch on and then when you walk away, it'll shut it off, which is, if you're very into saving the trees and the whales and the birds, uh, that's actually pretty damn interesting. Here's your, here's the other things you've got. Now you've got the acoustic space application chart and then a switch here, which is C, B, and A. Now this is basically just your bass cut. A is normal. A is all the bass you could ever want and that this will put out and it'll go down to 45 Hertz. If you noticed, I'm on B. So I actually have a bass cut for my desk. Zeos has a bass cut for his desk because there is corner still back there. I'm not in the corner, but this is in a treated room and blah, 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 blah. You'll figure out which one you want to use. And then C is for if you shove this in a corner and you're going to like that, the base is all the way down on that because that's you're in the corner. You're just going to have an amplification of the low end like crazy. 
So B it is for this desk, you're gonna figure it out on your own. And then there's a high frequency filter, which can go down two decibels or up two decibels. And I was reading through the manual and it does the basic thing that you expect it to be doing. However, however, it did also say that if your mix is in general, when you come out, because these are monitors, and assuming you're gonna be mixing on it, I'm assuming 94% of the people watching this review will never mix a lick of music in their, my, in their life. They're just gonna to wanna to listen to music and these will accommodate. However, if you do mix and you find overall people tell you your mix is too bright, <clears throat> you put the treble up on this. You make it brighter, then you'll mix down and then your treble should be good in your tracks. If you don't mix high enough, you don't have enough brightness, it'll dull, you put the treble lower and then you'll keep tweaking it in the mixer up. So that's how that would work. Here's your levels and I have it set to a very strange position, which is maximum. It's just a little knob. And there's a U on top, and I honestly don't remember. That's, I think, plus four. But since I'm using that, or if you're using this, it shouldn't make a difference. That's the tour. Ugh. You'll also note that they're playing right side up on my desk on angled foam. And that is not a very Zeos thing. Zeos usually puts shit up on, like, towers built of foam blocks. I hope I got you right back in the normal position. Oh, where are you? There we go. And that's because when I put a speaker on a desk to use it in general, all I care about as far as if they're upside down, if they're up here, is if I lay something with vocals, which this is not a thing with vocals. That's not a thing with vocals. That's not a thing with vocals. That's not a thing with vocals. Wait. where those vocals are happening in front of me. And here they are. So that's perfect. That's that's all I want. I want I want vocals happening either directly in front of me or directly in front of wherever I'm looking. And sitting on these foam blocks, which actually this is a big butt foam that I cut in half with a kitchen knife. Hi. So you can, I'll link to that too, if it's still available, because it was like way cheaper than anything that says the word speaker. As Soon as you have foam and you say, here's foam for sitting on with your butt. And here's the same piece of foam for speaker angling. Oh, it's $8 more, $12 more. So that's, that's my secret. Look for cheap foam. Also, I'll link in the description to my kit account. Kit is a place where you can just throw a bunch of items together that are like, I, I want the cheapest audio file gaming rig and you put seven or eight items in here, this is it. And it's an easier way to organize. So I have one set up just for foam products. All the things I use for foam, the foam blocks for that, the angled stuff, this yoga desk coverings, all part of the foam elite that Zeos has arranged. I know Chewbacca, I'll review you again at some point, maybe 5,000 on the Patreon or whenever. Now, back to how these sound. So they work amazingly quiet. They work quietly amazing. They work quite amazingly in the quiet amazingly. Right now, listen. This is uh, Code Gase, OVA impertinence, we feel. But this is, you know, you don't have to keep him down here. I'm, I'm down here right now because businesses are open and if I wanted to get yelled at, I would pick a track that is absolutely demonic muse uprising that sounds like a track i could get arrested for and um just keep turning this knob just keep turning it all the way to the point where you can't hear what i'm saying and the police are on their way maybe even the slot team because these speakers are kicking so much ass right now but it's not even funny and you are already having a real hard time hearing what i'm saying so i'm gonna bring it back down and bringing it back down, and then we're good. Because I did, obviously... How do they still work on three? I don't understand. I did have these set up in the living room for a while, and they're not designed for that. But if you wanted to put a set of powered monitors in a living room, well, there you go. I almost want to figure out a way to set up. There is a way 
to set up powered monitors for like a 2.0 or 2.1 essentially home theater system, but that I don't count that as home theater. Just It's just a 2.1 hooked up and you need to have a fiber optic and a remote control. And there's a way to do it. And I totally forgot how that's doable. But I'll figure it out again at some point and we'll review it. So the low end, even though I've got the switches on B, which is the slightly reduced, it's perfect because you can make it perfect. That subwoofer is going to come in at some point and I'm going to probably not be able to do anything with them during the day because subwoofer is dumb. But that subwoofer does have a foot pedal, which will, that's another amazing feature. Imaging. If I'm, if I'm telling you that these sound like LSR-306s, and they're not LSR-306s, well, what does that entail? The imaging on these, which is the sound from here to here and how accurate that is, I think that's actually better than, than my air motives. The air motives get very sharp, and you could hear very finite detail. But as far as the movement across a plane, these win. They win. They win. They win for a lot of things. I don't know if the... Well, I think the 8s... The 8s have the same size tweeter and array. Hmm. I wonder. I don't See, that's the bad part. I can't wonder about how the 8s will actually sound. You could, you could figure that out on your own. I'm here to talk about the 6s. The 6s are probably the monitor I would recommend the most. It's a Mackie. It's a Mackie. Everyone, no one's going to care if you recommend a Mackie. But I need you to care if I recommend a Mackie. I need to be able to throw on... Here you go. 55. Uncle Jimmy was young. There's an echo, and there's a space, and there's an acoustic sound that... Uh, you can't... You can't. You can't for $400. You can't. And I know you. it's going to probably... By the time this comes out... I'm probably going to have it filmed already. The comparison between the Swans, the Swan uh, M200 Mark III's, and then the Edifier 2000 Pro, S2000 Pros. And, and what a fucking fight that's going to be. But I still think these do acoustical space a little better. Those things have amazing features on their own. So you're sitting back there waiting for your, your moment in the sun. And I have to talk about them because you're going to end up in the comments. But... For an actual dedicated set of powered monitors and not essentially computer speakers. Please consider these. This is, a, this, is a, this is a proposal for you to please consider these speakers over what you're thinking. Like I've listened to the KRK, like the KRK line. Everyone loves them. People love them for bass. Oh, I love them for bass. Everyone's got these iconic yellow drivers. And th these should probably be the ones you're getting instead of that. They're trying real hard with the whole Running Man logo and not saying Mackie on it because the Mackie name is sort of like <sighs> KRK. Everyone knows KRK and people have, they're those KRK fanboys. If you're a KRK fanboy, uh, I'll never be able to convince you otherwise because you people are insane. And I don't know how that became a thing. Then there's sort of like the LSRs, which the people come and they're like, oh, I need speakers and you'd recommend those. And they would just all get on board. And now I'm here trying to shove Mackie in the middle of like there's that bar and they're all all the speaker manufacturers are hanging out and you got the uh, i can never remember the name of any of those really expensive ones the high-end ones are eating in the vip lounge you're not you're not messing with those but the guys that are in the affordable bar mackie's just he's, he's just walked in brand new suit and jesus Grandma. I, I, oh, yeah. I cannot describe in words on his head. the depth on it. the depth that these are throwing out. It's early in the morning, and I need to do this review, and it's just I, I'm at a la I'm at a loss for words. I'm at a loss for how good these sound. Because I mean, Zeos doesn't Zeos doesn't give a shit review. Oh, I'm going to give some shit reviews, but not to these. These do not deserve any wrath from any. I think they're prettier than the LSR 305s, I think they're prettier than the KRKs, and I think they're prettier than the Air Motives. So, there's that. They're affordable. 
They have a green power LED, which is like, I, I'm, a, I'm older than like everyone on Earth. I'm 173 years old. And the power LEDs on things used to be green. Because green means go. And I respect that. They did Look, if they're going for a new image, they could have totally gone for blue lighting up around the entire thing. And they didn't. They went for green. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't want to just come out and say buy these because that makes me seem like a dick on the internet. But buy these because I'm a dick on the internet. Buy these over anything you're thinking of in the $400 range for speakers. Unless you need a very, very specific wood fetish filled. I keep looking back at those swans and those edifiers because they're, they're, just, they're just back there watching this and going, hey, you believe this guy talking about it? Yeah. Mm. If you're mixing, you want these, period. If you want these, I won't, I, I'm not gonna guess that the fives are as good, but I'm gonna guess the fives are like this, but not as huge because these do sound huge. It's, it's a remarkable thing. I just, I haven't gamed on them but I'm imagining that will also be just insane. So, college setup, you have music you want to play. Jesus Christ, this. The eights you get, you run a dorm room off of it. Or a whole entire frat house. Let's see how this goes down. Sound demo in the description. Wallpaper in the description. Patreon upper right or in the description which helps support this channel and keeps keeps me neck deep in megamine nendroids neck and nendroids and then we'll just see what else i could do follow me into the darkness as far as you can